You know, one of the issues that we've been uh, trying to address in the college, nationwide as well, is, is the lack of science literacy uh, amongst our uh, general population. And um, the future of a country like ours where, uh, you know, the, the voters have to be knowledgeable about the issues they vote on, I think it's critical that uh, everybody uh, have an understanding of the importance of science in their lives. And for that, we need to uh, be intentional about how we uh, provide that education and, and background. Uh, that spills into the conversation on agricultural literacy, which uh, focuses at the first level around whether people really understand where their food uh, comes from. And all of this is on a continuum of science. So um, science is where we start, and I think Science, obviously, is what's going to feed the world in the future, and uh, we have to be sure that everybody appreciates and understands the value of science in their lives. I think some parents assume that if the children are in, uh, on the technology, the, the uh, computer technology, that they're getting exposure to science. But science is uh, so much more than the, the current technology uh, defines, uh, and I think what we try to do with our faculty uh, when they work with our students, um, and we hope we get the same uh, as we work with science educators that will teach in uh, elementary and secondary, is that there's just a passion for science. There's a passion for asking questions, uh, and the questions have to be age relevant. You look at some of the most um, innovative advances that people are aware of, for example, in genetics. Uh, they uh, have grown out of the plant science arena, so the, uh, the plant science genetics and to a great extent animal science genetics uh, related to agriculture are actually defining the, the uh, genetic agenda of the future. The, uh, the fascinating thing that's uh, uh, in our, our future is becoming part of the Big Ten, and uh, it's a wonderful example of how we uh, have and will continue uh, to uh, expand and uh, hopefully pick up some momentum around uh, heightening the awareness in agriculture. And if you uh, consider the, the Big Ten will be 12 institutions uh, when we join, uh, eight of those are land grants which have uh, colleges of agriculture, um, that there is a core of, of universities in, in the United States that uh, effectively define the agricultural research and education and extension programs nationally and will be part of it. Innovation Campus is going to have, uh, as it evolves, it's going to have the food, fuel, and water focus. Agriculture is going to be core to that. And as you see us interact with global uh, corporations and, and uh, businesses, I think you're going to see a network of our, of our touch points out around the world that uh, we will be a global leader.